So today I'm talking about a P0111 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0111 code? Well, it's an intake air temperature sensor one circuit range performance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically the intake air temperature sensor or IAT sensor is monitoring the temperature of the air that's going into the engine and reporting this information back to the computer, which is using it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. Since cold air is more denser than hot air, when the air is cold, the engine needs more gas to fine tune the engine. And so this intake air temperature sensor is just reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the air is that's going into the engine. You know, one thing to note about these intake air temperature sensors is that there can be multiple sensors. Sometimes there could be two or even three. Well, they can also sometimes be built in with other sensors. So for example, like a mass airflow sensor or a manifold absolute pressure sensor or something like that. So if you do go to work on a vehicle with the P0111 code, it's gonna be a good idea to get a diagram where all these sensors are located and what's going on with that particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0111 code? Well, the most common things that's going to cause this is either that intake air temperature sensor number one's gone bad or the wiring going to it. And so there's a few different ways to go about troubleshooting this. These intake air temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. So you can use a multimeter and go and test these sensors. And basically to do this, you look up what the rated values are supposed to be for that particular sensor at a set temperature. And then you set your multimeter to ohms and you check to see if it matches that. So for example, say you look up the rated specifications for that sensor, since there is differences between sensors and the temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, then when you go to check it, it should read like two to three kilo ohms. You could even use like a hot hair dryer and heat it up and see if the resistance values change. There's different things like this. There's some good videos on this. I've made videos on this. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad intake air temperature sensor, number one. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to that sensor. If there's any kind of open, short, bad connection, anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go and get wiring schematics for that particular vehicle and go and check the wiring to be sure that it's good. It is very common for five volts to be going to these sensors. And as the resistance values change, the other side will have a different voltage coming out of it. And that's going back to the computer on the signal wire. Again, be sure to get schematics for the vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But that is very common for five volts to be going to these sensors. So you can't get wiring schematics. Be sure you got voltage going to it. And you can also check the signal wire that's going back to the computer and be sure it's good. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0111 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.